You know, as cozy as things are right now, I think we need to step up our game. I mean, for one, we're just roasting meat over an open campfire. Two, our items are just sprawled out on the floor and it's extremely disorganized. And three, I would really like to increase my quality of life. Please don't step in the fire. Anyways, welcome everyone to another episode of Vintage Story, the Homo Sapiens Challenge. That thing is still out there. Anyways, if you guys remember last episode, we went ahead and skinned up some animals and we are doing a little bit better when it comes to food. And by a little bit, I mean we have enough food to last us probably a couple of days, max. And hopefully that food will fuel me for the next couple of days to reach my next goal, which is going to be clay forming and clay making great. As I really want a bunch of clay pottery to store items, to cook food, and to progress maybe to the Metal Age in the future. It's gonna require a lot of work though, a lot of calories, so after we eat these berries, we can go catch some sleep. Skipping all the way to day... to day five. Welcome on in everyone. If we look outside, it should be pretty bright out, enough for me to grab the clay we saw in the first episode. To begin the process of forming out pit kilns so I can cook up and harden the clay. And the clay is going to be right over here. It's very close by to us, and there's actually some fish in here as well. I'll keep that in mind if we do need some food. But more importantly, we have- Oh no 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 Okay. That's a problem that we're going to have to deal with. So you know what? I'm going to head back to my house and we're going to go- um, do other things, and maybe prepare a little bit to kill a wolf. Yeah, no, not right now, though. Also, that's some nice, uh, rye there. I'll be taking this for later. Thank you very much. Wow, I just saw my life flash before my very eyes there. We were able to escape, thankfully. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We need to prepare to kill that wolf. It's the only way we can progress at this point. So what I need right now is more spears and more protection. I have no idea where this other uh, animal is, by the way. I don't know if it's in the woods because you guys also did mention that it might be underground with me, which is a very fun idea. Yeah, no, we need protection because as it stands right now, we have a, a rag loincloth to our name, which is not gonna help us with uh, canine bites, right? So right now what I want to do is make, I would say two more spears, Just like that, and finally, some armor. Now, the only armor we can make right now is going to be improvised wooden armor, which is gonna require nine dry grass, one obsidian knife, and a whole bunch of firewood, which we can solve right now. So let's go craft it up. It's not much right now, but it'll have to do the job, and it makes me feel a little bit better. Bada boom. Okay, now that we have the weapons and the armor, we can go drop off the firewood and try to kill this wolf now. Oh, and I should also skin up these rabbits before they go bad, huh? Yeah, we'll go do that really quick as well. Awesome, we were able to get ourselves two more red meat and two more bush meat. I'm gonna go ahead and cook up the bush meat right now, and we can have that for snacks later, but I am gonna try to save the bush meat for later. If we put it inside the basket, it is gonna last for 1.8 days, which is hopefully gonna be enough time to actually set up a cooking pot to cook up some delicious food. But now that we have the spears, we can go ahead and hunt our first real animal. Which is gonna... Which is gonna be a wolf. Which is gonna be a wolf. So, let's see how good this goes. I missed already. Perfect. Yo! We got him! That went extremely smoothly. I would have cried if we didn't kill it then because that was my last spear, but we got extremely lucky in getting a two for hit for that wolf. Now we just have to keep an eye out around the area for any other wolves, right? Because they do come in packs and it'd be very easy for another one to just sneak up behind me and make my life hell. I don't see any nearby. I think we're good. 
Thank you for your sacrifice, my good sir. I am going to throw away probably one of these spears and we're going to be grabbing a whole bunch of clay. As much as we can feasibly carry, of course. And you know what? I'm going to go grab this wolf and skin it right now. Yeah, I should be able to remove our hand basket, drop it in, and pick up the wolf like uh, that. As you see, it is in my bag inventory. And we can go ahead and put away old Fido to be processed later. Alrighty, everyone, good news. We didn't get jumped by any wolves, and on top of that, we have gotten ourselves way more supplies than I had originally intended, right? We have about three stacks of blue clay. We also decided to grab a small amount of dry grass and sticks, because those are going to be the two main components we need in order to make the things we need. So, I'm gonna lead ourselves all the way back to the base, so I can start forming this blue clay into something that's a little bit more workable. Yeah, also we are so damn hungry. It's bad. It's a good thing we have this cooked bush meat to last us a little bit longer, at least. Alrighty, that should keep us fed for about five more minutes, which should be enough time to start up our pit kilns. And if you guys don't know, a lot of the crafting systems in Vintage Story are very personal, I would say, right? So in order to make something like a raw crock, we actually need to... We need to remove and form the clay ourselves into the tools we need. So the crafting is very involved and it's very cool in that way. The only problem is that it does take a little bit of time. So despite us only having two bars of hunger, what I would really want to make right now is a raw crock, a raw cooking pot, a bowl, and a crucible mold. And with our second one, we need to make storage vessels so I actually have storage uh, potential. And with those two, we should be pretty much set up until we find ourselves a copper node, which I haven't found so far, so it's not too much of a problem. But boom, we got ourselves a crock, and now it's time to make the other four things we need. Which is a bowl, a cooking pot, a crucible, and finally a raw storage vessel. I'm going to complete this though after I get a little bit more food. I really underestimated how much time this would have taken me. So yeah, we need a little bit of nutrition in our system. So I think we're going to cook up the red meat we have right now. Even though I did say it was going to be used for fuel later, we aren't going to survive if we don't do this. So yeah, while we're finishing up this little vessel here, we have something to look forward to. There we are. Now that we have all of these, we can begin digging out some pit kilns. I want this to be somewhere that isn't too flammable, as it is going to be pretty fire focused. So I think we're going to clear out a section of grass and just call it a day right over here. Aside from clearing up the grass, we will be making roofs for these pit kilns because if it rains out, it can screw up the process. So let's dig one out here and the other here, dropping these bad boys inside. Just like that. And now that we have them in, we just need to put in a combination of sticks, grass, and logs in order to make these. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go grab the logs, and by the time we wake up, it should be pretty much cooking. Now that, that right there is the smell of progress. I went ahead and made a torch out of our shelter fire because starting it with the fire starter was not working out at all. Matter of fact, as long as we have a running fire and we have torches inside, I'm gonna move on from using the fire starter because it burns calories and it's very unreliable. Now that we got these down, we just have to wait one to three days for them to produce results. And while we are waiting, I must might make a third one really quick just to uh, just to make another storage vessel because we need a lot of storage, right? Yeah, I also see myself a rabbit right over there. Get sniped, idiot. <laughs> oh man, Grug doesn't miss. Hell yeah. Okay, we'll go grab uh, we'll go grab you and then we will go to sleep after we finish up this last kill. 
Alrighty, now I will see all of you tomorrow. Welcome on in everyone to day number six. And the first thing we're gonna do today is skin up the animals we killed yesterday. I should have done this before I slept so I could have given them a lot of time to bleed out, but you know, at least we're doing it now at the start of a new day. So here's the wolf. And here's the rabbit, bada boom, giving us three medium hides and one small hide. Ooh, that's actually really good. I wonder if we can make some more clothing with that. Ooh, and we can make some clothing. We can either make a mantle right now, which is going to need three raw hides, or we can make some pants. Looking at our character right now, I think the only sensible option is to make pants. So that's exactly what we're going to do. There we are. Now we are even less naked than before. How much would it take to make some sandals as well? It's actually really cheap. Okay, let's make some footwear as well then. Oh, hell yeah. Now we look a little bit more civilized, right? And I think once we get all of the pit kilns all set and ready, we can actually move on to building out a proper log cabin for a cultured individual such as I. For now, we are just going to be living out of the cave base. And I think the one thing I want to do right now, while these pit kilns are cooking up, is get more meat, right? The more meat we have, the better things will be. So instead of heading off up there, or down over there, I think we follow the outskirts of the forest here, and wrap around up over that direction. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. We got three spears to our name, and we should probably drop off a few more things to make space for the animals we might kill. And the main way we are going to be making space is by dropping everything on the floor. Oh snap, we also got a couple lumps of fat. Okay, that's actually huge. What I can do instead then is pick up the small hide here and get that greased and oiled up for use later. I'm going to leave the rest of the fat here though and we can move on to finding some cool new animals to kill. Though there is one last thing I could check out, and it's a little bit scary, but I am a little bit curious. And it's the idea that the animal might be located within the cave that's making all of the roaring sounds. And I am a little bit curious, okay? I, I'm not gonna kill it, by any means. But at least I can check it out to see if the... the myth is true, right? <laughs> I mean, how bad could it be? Going into a deep, dark cave with no idea of what lurks beneath. We'll take it slowly, and you never know, we might find something cool. No, it doesn't look like it, but it does connect to another outside entrance, which is pretty cool. Aside from that, though... No way. No way, it's actually in there. Okay, no, we're leaving. Yeah, no, 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 thank you. Okay... Yeah, we're just gonna focus on the small things for today. It, it was very fun checking it out, though. Now it's time for me to, uh, not get stupid. I'll let you know if I find any rabbits. Oh, it looks like we've hit a jackpot, everyone. If you look down over there, there's a bunch of small game birds that I should be able to kill. I am a little bit wary about killing the birds, though, because that is probably going to be the first thing we can domesticate, right? But as long as we only kill, like, one or two, we should be able to get in, get our stuff, and leave. Yeah, there's like four birds there. And right now, as it stands, Grug is pretty hungry. So let's see if we can get lucky killing these damn things. But we do- Oh! Oh, there's actual, like, baby goats here as well! Oh, this is perfect. Look at how many animals are here. Okay, awesome. And I also see there's about, like, three to four birds there, so I can definitely kill two, and they should still repopulate after. There is also this just dead fawn here. I think it might have just fell down. Yeah, all right, well, that's free food. <laughs> nice. Okay, yeah, we're gonna be eating good. It looks like this is gonna be the hunting grounds for us then. Yeah, there's a bunch of fawns here. We're gonna wait for them to grow up and we're just gonna focus on the birds right now. Yeah, there we are. Ooh, is that another rabbit over there as well? There is, okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Let's kill. No, there's no way I catch it. That's fine. Also, I figured out I can't pick up these birds because they're technically not a part of the vanilla game. So we are going to have to skin them normally. But with these pheasant hens, we should be able to get some feathers, some poultry, and some more bones out of it. So it is so worth it. And so we can end off our nice little hunting trip. With a very sizable 9 poultry, 78 feathers, and 25 bones. Not to mention the 2 dead hares and the 1 dead deer, including the fish fillets we have. Yeah, no, that'll keep us going for quite a while. And can I mention all of the growing foods we have right now? I'm not gonna harvest these right now because we can wait a little bit until I get some more inventory space. But yeah, food is good. And I guess that makes sense because it is still summer, right? So so yeah, it, it makes a lot, a lot of sense. Also, you guys mentioned that I can eat the fish raw, like just out of, out of, out of the water. So we are going to eat the two pieces of fish to keep us held over so I can grab some currants to maybe put into a future stew. Yeah, no, we are cooking. Okay, now it's time to head home and to drop off all of our ill-gotten gains. I sure hope I remember where the hell my house is. I think it's going to be... Oh, uh, that a ways, maybe, please. Okay, it is definitely not this way. Well, as long as we don't leave this plain area, we should find it pretty easily. And that kind of leads me to another thing. I really need to make landmarks of my own volition so I know where the hell I'm going. Because as it stands right now, I am one step away from getting lost in the woods and losing my home forever. Thankfully, we didn't venture out too far, so it shouldn't take long at all to find my first marker. Hopefully. Because if not, we are going to see a massive shift in this game. And it's not going to be a good one, I'll tell you that much. I can't help myself, I'm sorry. I know I'm lost, but that's another free kill right there. <laughs> oh man, this is not good. Uh, screw the sinew, we can get more of that later. Let's go grab the corpse and let's find our damn home. Oh no, now the heavy rain is setting in. Please don't tell me I got lost. Um, I, I have to be close to house, right? I have to- Oh my god! Oh, oh, we are, we are, we are, we are. I am so thankful I decided to set up that small dirt pillar before I left any further. Okay, yeah, no. Uh, when we go out hunting in the future, we need to make, like, 20 more of those. Because that was the only marker I've had other than the one that's next to my base. So if I don't want to get lost and lose all of my progress, uh, yeah, dirt pillars are going to be the only way I know how to navigate. Because there aren't anything like compasses in the game, and relying on the sun setting or rising is a very, very risky maneuver. But we have finally made it home. So now we can go hang up our kills, relax for the day, and see if our pit kilns are done. That noise was jarring, to say the least. Oh man, though, I am so happy we're back. And it looks like our pit kilns have done the job. All right, we've moved on over to the Pottery Age. Which, uh, the Pottery Age doesn't exist, by the way, but um, I'd like to say it does. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm going to end the episode here, as we have gotten ourselves uh, storage vessels, cooking pots, all of that good stuff, so we are going to be cooking up some fantastic stuff tomorrow. So let's finally set that bad boy down and drop off a whole bunch of material. Oh man, having that extra storage is going to be so dang nice. But I am going to miss our cluttered up room. But I think I'm going to end the episode here. Or you know what? Instead of ending it here, I think I'm going to do some inventory management. I'm going to skin up all of the animals and get this place looking a little bit more organized right starting off with skinning these animals right here ah. 
Anyways, welcome everyone to day number seven. I'm gonna eat a couple of berries so I'm not starving to death, but we have cleared out our house and it looks so much better, right? We've picked up all of the seeds, all of the refuse, and we've made it feel more like a home. As much of a home as you can get. So now we have our farming and food storage vessel, which has all of our seeds, all of our food, our miscellaneous crafting vessel, and our more earthly material, like plant fiber basket. So yeah, we got all of that cooking up. We also went ahead and skinned up most of the animals we've gotten, and I am living right now. All right, so that means we have survived seven full days and already we look ten times better and we're only going to increase in power as time goes on. Though this is where I'm going to be ending off the episode, as next time we can focus on very cool things. For one, we can hunt more. Two, we can actually scout out for future copper. And three, we can finally cook up some nutritious meals with our cooking pot, and we can finally store them with our crock as well. So yes, there is a bunch that we're going to be able to do tomorrow. Anyways, if you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more to see more of Grug's journey. I will see all of you later. Peace the hell out, everyone.